This is the uh, tire monitor pressure system I bought, or TPMS, that I originally bought for the V-Rod. But unfortunately the thing would not work on the bar. So I substituted it. I took the one off the M109, which was these two with an app on the phone. I took those off. All I did is unscrew, take the nut off, and there's an app on the phone for those. I'm going to put those on the V-Rod instead. This one I now actually have on the Suzuki M109. Back to recording. This is the unit right here. And I just got it on. It just clamps onto the bar and it did work. It's got a screw here that makes this adjustable. It'll activate once I start moving. And it'll show me the tire pressure from the front and rear and the temperature Oops, as I go. And it was very simple and it's rechargeable. It's got a cable that plugs in and everything. That's the back one right there on the tire. You just screw it back on the valve with the little nut to tighten it, and then that's the rear. The front one does the exact same thing. It just screws right back on. And there's the front one. And like I said, it just screws on real easy, and then just use the nut to tighten it down so it doesn't come off. And then, according to um, the unit, it says that once you move the bike up to 12 miles an hour, It'll refresh and send a signal to it, uh, and we'll see how it is. But it seems pretty sturdy. It unscrews, so you can take it with you if you want to. It's rechargeable. It's got a plug on the back of it, and then it's got two little buttons. It says it's waterproof and rainproof, you know, that kind of thing. But that's the brand right there, and I got it off of Amazon. And uh, it doesn't work on a Harley V-Rod because the handlebars are too thick, but it will work on a Suzuki M109. So we're going to try it out tomorrow.